So with electric vehicles, um, our association, that's what we do, is we promote electric vehicle adoption in Alberta. And again, we did found a few years ago and uh, formed as a formal organization uh, about 12 months ago. Uh, there's four directors of us, and we're all based here in Edmonton, and we just had uh, two major uh, public displays of uh, locally owned vehicles in Calgary and in Edmonton. We were uh, showcasing electric vehicles in West Edmonton Mall last weekend to thousands of people, so that was quite an interesting venture. Um, so with myself, admittedly, I'm actually not a car guy at all. Um, my interest in the environment has been around for over 25 years. I had the great fortune to uh, grow in, up in Victoria, British Columbia, and um, I worked at a scuba diving store when I was in junior high and high school and was diving every other weekend. So I had many adventures uh, throughout Western Canada and around various parts of the world. I lived in uh, England for over 12 years where I was a manager of an underwater photography firm and did some commercial work. These are some of my commercial uh, projects I've done over the years and uh, even met my future wife on a scuba diving boat in the Great Barrier Reef. So that was uh, where diving always worked out for me. Then was the fateful day <laughs> that um, I stumbled upon a YouTube trailer called Who Killed the Electric Car? And I'm like, seriously, there's electric cars? Why don't we know about this? Why don't I never know about this? And how do I get to see this movie? I'm going, I wonder if my public, local public library has it. So I went down to my city of Edmonton public library, and do you have a copy? And the librarian went and got the copy, and she said to me, this is going to be the most important movie you ever see. Please watch it. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never had a disclaimer like that before from a librarian. I was going to watch this movie. And my life had completely taken a different direction after that. Um, so yeah, so these are two conversions that I did way back in 2010. This is before Tesla Model S. The Tesla Roadster is just starting to come out, uh, so very early days. Um, and my interest in electric cars and what we found from that movie particularly is the GHGs from public tr you know, transportation, you know, with our own private vehicles. In Canada, we're about 28, you know, percent. Um, individually, in the household, <laughs> vehicles make up over 50% of greenhouse uh, gas emissions. Um, and that's a significant chunk that we should be looking at to see if we can make better choices to come to that attention. There was a study done a few years ago um, that looked actually the economic costs of the pollution that we're pumping into our province and societies like the Lung Association, the Asthma Society of Canada, pegged it that it's costing over the Alberta healthcare system over $300 million a year. Okay, so with car, gas car lifetime uh, emissions, 75% is coming out of the tailpipe, 19% is fuel extraction and refining, raw materials is about 4%, and the fact, manufacturing assembly uh, is only 2%. When we compare the efficiency of electric cars to gas, there's no comparison. The gas cars are, sorry, the EVs are way more efficient. And by that, there's an economic interest with the amount of money you're going to save. On average, you can save over $2,000 a year. It's like paying 20 cents a liter equivalent. This is a meme um, that I've seen on the internet. Um, bugs me to no end. Um, and it's a, it's a fair, do, you know, we do get a, this pushback question quite a bit, you know, how you know, your car is just a coal car. How green is that? Fair enough a question, but I think this is a little more accurate. We've got to look at the whole picture. Um, so with the, but what is the greenhouse, you know, gas emission footprint in Alberta? Well, our society, our association has actually looked at this and we came up with an online tool that measures real-time uh, energy feeds going into our electrical grid and can compare that to... Uh, gas car. So we've done that and these are drop down menus that people could compare an electric car to gas car right here in Alberta and um, got a huge response to it so in the last week we actually did it for all the provinces in Canada. So um, now with oil, you know, oil we have choices. Um, we can either burn it and once we burn it it's gone forever. We can just have that economic interest sailing through our tailpipes, or we can keep that oil and use it for invaluable products that we need as a society. The thing is, when we make things out of 
that we are tangible that we can hold with our hands, ultimately at the end of that life, we can recycle it. Once you burn it, it's gone forever. Um, battery capacity during winter. Um, what we're finding with time and experience is that our range goes down roughly about 20% in the winter because it uses energy to keep the batteries warm because we want to protect those batteries. So a question is that we often ask ourselves, where can we possibly find an opportunity to charge our electric cars? Where or where could it be? <laughs> yeah. um, well, people in Alberta have been doing it for over 10 years, folks. You know, we've got a gentleman here down in uh, Calgary that's been charging his Tesla Roadster for over 10 years. And we actually looked at how much does it cost uh, for, instead of your money leaving your bank account to pay for gas, how much would it be to pay off the bank loan for your PV system? It's less than five years. Um, what's really exciting in the last uh, year is we've had significant ramp-up production um, EV adoption for uh, chargers in Alberta. Uh, we've got the Peaks to Prairies project, which has been a joint effort between municipalities in southern Alberta and the former uh, Alberta government, to which we're going to have over 20 fast charger stations uh, to promote tourism, promote the local economy down there, so the funds stay in Alberta. And you may have noticed on TV in the last week or two, uh, PetroCan, they're promoting their national electric highway. Um, so this is really exciting, and uh, Alberta's getting their fair share too. With Edmonton, Edmonton, we reckon there's probably over 1,000 EVs. Uh, word on the street is Tesla's over selling over 100 a month. So we know we've blown over 1,000 by now. And really, really excited about this development that the city of Edmonton is taking the lead charge on is electric buses. This is a huge, huge step forward. Um, can't love this enough. Um, works year-round. They're really wise on doing their uh, field testing in the winter to throw the worst conditions possible out of it. Buses were fine. So I really look forward to seeing these uh, buses uh, on the streets. Uh, right close to us, we've got lots of uh, charger stations, public charger stations. like to see more of them to boost uh, public confidence in them. And, um, yeah, future's bright. Let's do this.